Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Universe IO, a mud pack by Cryptic. So, in the last episode, I worked on the base a little bit and I went and got myself some animals. Got me some sheep, a little, oh, gave me that egg. Got me some chickens, uh, cows and pigs and I found myself a horse. So, once I get a saddle, I could use that guy to go wherever I want. By the way, all of these, if you look at the time lapse, went through the portal. You just have to cajole them, like use a, a leash, a lead, sorry, a lead, and bring them through the portal. Also made a ton of furnace because I wanted to be able to process resource faster. And now that we're into the episode, I'm going to need a couple of these furnace for the crafting. First thing off, a couple of things. Glass has EMC. It's easy to make glass. You hit sand, you turn dirt into sand, and then you cook it. But I don't want to have to rinse and repeat that all the time. Charcoal also has EMC. Like anything that has EMC is basically just a little way of the game saving you time. Another thing that has EMC is obsidian. So I am going to so, you know what? I think I need to keep two obsidian if I remember, but I'm going to teach obsidian. I'm going to teach glass and then get some back. Um, what else do I need? So those are two things that can be EMC'd. Whenever something can be EMC'd, I'm just going to do it because I, that's what I like about EMC. I like the idea that you can use EMC as a time saver for things that are really easy to get. Like, oh, I'm out of glass. Man, now I got to... Go and convert, uh, I gotta transform dirt into sand and then cook it. Like there's just no point. Whatever time I can save, I will try to save. So today we've got a lot to do. I want to try to basically get my whole uh, PCB set up from Pneumatic Graph because that takes a lot of time to do. And what I wanna do is I wanna be able to prepare a lot of that during my time lapse. So we really don't have a lot of time to waste. We need to get started. So first off, I'm going to start with something very special is getting uh, things to cool down. So right here, heat with rolls. I recommend strongly that you start with that because that takes a while. So this wants us to make a heat frame. Heat frame is furnace with some um, compressed iron against uh, around. So let's just do that. So compress around a furnace gives you a heat frame then I can grab some wood to make a chest just get a chest quickly and what's a source of cold well everything nest blocks are a source of cold and you know what once they co cool things down enough they even disappear into nothingness so let's just come over here and we're going to make a quick little cooling setup right here. In fact, we're going to make two. Oh, one moment. To cool things, you need an element to pass the cold along. That's what the compressed iron blocks are going to be used for. I'm going to go everything this all around like this. Then compressed block right here. Do you see the temperature going down? Already it's working. Then you put the chest down and you put a heat frame on it. And now it's cooling down. The compressed block of iron is passing the cool to the heat frame, which is passing it onto the inside. I wanna start this because I want this to be as cold as possible. Now, another thing that we're going to need today, we're going to need redstone, lapis, and glowstone. So redstone, you get, oh, redstone in this game, you get with mana infusion, but, with a block under it. So you drop cosmic dust on a mana pool with red concrete powder. Lapis, you get by doing the same thing, but with blue concrete, not blue concrete powder, blue concrete. Why? I don't know. It's very bizarre. And for the red one, if it's concrete, it won't work. It needs to be powder. And glowstone, if I go to glowstone, that one took me a bit longer because it was like, ooh, Oh, I need netherrack on there, so I can't do that. And I kept, and I was kind of struggling, and then I'm like, okay, wait, wait. So I can transmute apprentice salt with light. So how do I get apprentice salt? 
result of a world-specific reaction. Uh, okay, how do I get salt blocked? Like, that was circular. So I thought of looking at the block, and I'm like, yeah, everyone knows this, and I'm like, collector fuel, and then chiseling, and then I closed it. Then I looked again, and I'm like, why did I ignore this? Block eat properties. Because when I saw this in my testing, <clears throat> I hadn't seen the eat frame yet. So there is a way that, so a blaze mesh gives off heat. Once it's got rid of all its 500 C of eat, it's going to turn into glowstone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a blaze mesh and I'm going to make a secondary uh, cooling setup right here. Same thing. And that's going to take a, quite a while. So it's always good to start it sooner rather than later. So I put the compressed iron block right here and then I put blaze mesh and this is going to slowly use its heat to uh, heat the compressed iron. But the everything that's block is going to try to reduce the heat of the compressed iron. See, this is already at minus 12 and just going down. So this is going to transform into glowstone at some point and then we're going to break it. If we're lucky, we're going to get four glowstone which is going to let us make another block and blocks singly glowstone doesn't have EMC, but the block does. So while this we're waiting for this, let's just make some redstone and some glowstone quickly. So we're going to need some concrete. So I'm going to need four gravel and four sand, and I'm going to need some um, color. Let's just use uh, red for now. So right here, we're going to go like this and this, and then we get red concrete powder, which is what we needed, but we also need um, the blue one. And there's also, I think it's the purple one. Let me just search purple concrete because once I saw this mechanic, what I did is I investigated all of the mechanic. So purple concrete is gonna give us amethyst dust. I don't know if we need it or when we need it, but those are the three colors that have an impact. So I'm just going to cycle through until one goes to purple and one goes to blue. Purple and blue, perfect. So we have all three right now. Now the blue one is a problem because you don't want blue powder, you want blue concrete. So you just put it next to water and the powder becomes water, um, uh, becomes concrete. So I can get rid of this like that and then I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to need to keep these three blocks just to be able to uh, transform. Like I'm going to keep them close to my setup back there. Let's just go like this and do this. Now I'm going to want to make just for starter, I'm going to make two stacks of lapis and two stacks of redstone. So I'm going to come back here, grab. I, I have such a weird time with the flick i don't know if it's a bug with my setup or with the mod pack but see like it's it's damaged the thing so now i can't oh come on no i don't know why like it's just so bizarre give me a stupid drawer. I think it's impacted by the fact that it's in the, um, sorry. I think it's impacted because it's part of the multi-block structure. Like, I'm not sure, but I think that's what it is. It's just so annoying. Oh, and this one, it worked. This time it worked. Whatever. So sometimes it doesn't work at all. Sometimes it works on the first try. So let's get the, um, redstone first. So we're going to come down here. We're going to have to get rid of the everything nest block that's here. So grab the everything nest block, put the red concrete powder, and then we can just throw these in. And this in. Great. Uh, so yeah, that's two stack. Then we're going to put the blue concrete I'm not going to make any amethyst right now because as of now, I still have no use for amethyst dust. When I get to it, well, I'll have the stuff that I need to make it happen. But for now, I don't need it. So I'm going to put this there, this there, 
gonna keep one everything nest block right here and that's where I'm going to keep uh, the things that I need perfect so let's go back right here get rid of all of this resources and you know what I don't need this this what else do I not need okay great so that's all of like the cleanup stuff that we needed to do still not transform so now we need to get started with the oil oh and by the way um let's just grab eight more we're going to need a little bit of these cosmic ingot and it's a quest so one two three four seven eight I'm going to get back that fire stick and I'm going to use the last two charge on it to just finish cooking that. Go and go. Perfect. So while we're waiting, like I was saying, we're going to need to go and get oil. So we need a makeshift pump. We need a gas lift. I've already uh, bookmarked all of the three things that we're going to need. So let's just get started with the crafting. First thing first, though, uh, we're going to need some... Um, we're going to need some compressors. So let's just make two uh, air compressor. We're going to need one for the melting and one for the, um, sorry, one for the pump in the other world and one for the, um, oh my God, talking is hard sometimes. So one for the pump and one for the next setup that we're going to do with the refinery. So we're going to go, we're going to need six of those, uh, three craft of those for 12 right here air compressor i do need these pipes i thought i already had some yeah i do have some but not a lot so i'll just do a little bit more great and now let's do these two hair air compressor one and two perfect now we need the makeshift pump which is right here the gas lift oh yeah i need some small fluid tank so for the fluid tank i, I don't want to get annoyed with this i'm going to make a lot of fluid tank just it's crazy we're going to need a lot and just what I'm doing right now it's not I'm sure I'm gonna have to build some more later uh, let's grab some more of this and then 16 should be okay to begin with but I can guarantee you we're going to need more than that before the time is over so let's just make one what am I missing reinforced stone slab so Reinforce a stone slab and let's make that right now just one don't need more than one and we're going to immediately go to purgatory and set that up because we need to start getting some uh, some oil so run program purgatory teleport okay uh technically ooh, i forgot something darn it let's go back home um, so the way it works, and that took me a while, like, well, it took me a while. It wasn't that long because the machine does tell you, but you need some drill pipes. So drill pipes are made just like this. And basically you can put the machine down anywhere and it's just going to drill down to where to find oil. And that's something that was not very easy for me to figure out. So I did this. Uh, I had to look up in Discord, and oil is basically in purgatory, and it's about 60 level down. So I could make about 60 drill pipe, but there's no point. So what I did instead is I switched my ulti mine to mining tunnel, and then just hit like this, and then the sand drops, you just do it again, and there's maybe eight layer of sand, so at some point, uh, the sand's gonna stop dropping, and we're just going to have a whole way down to oil see still purge sand and shovel don't work on purge sand by the way so if you guys are going to say why am i not using a shuttle shovel oh, i didn't bring it i was going to show you but the shovel doesn't work it just it takes the same amount of time so since this pickaxe is pretty good and will break the stone block that are below that might as well just use that directly perfect so purge stone see voila but now i'm getting all of the sand falling from the top level which is not a problem because i'm going to have to do this eight time but once i'm done with this i'm going to be able to make the next one and the next one i'm basically making this too high um well i want to make it three high but oh that's what i didn't want to do darn it um yeah so i'm going to need to wait to break these eight 
And then I'm just going to have one place where it's one eye, and then the rest I'm going to make too high. You're going to see in a moment. Okay, so if I remove this perch stone, these are going to fall. But if I remove this one, nothing's going to fall because there's another level protecting here. So now this makes it much easier to go down as a tunnel. And this thing is pretty deep, but this is like, imagine the machine now would have taken, we're going from minus 50, we went, we were at zero, minus 60, minus 70, and we're still not at oil. So do this again. And let's continue down. And there's really nothing that you can do with per perch stone that I know of. So just continue going down. See, 100 drill pipe, 120 drill pipe, 130 drill pipe. Still not down to oil. So yeah, although you can use the drill pipe feature, I strongly recommend that you do not and just get to oil this good old fashioned way. And we have oil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my mining to a um, large tunnel and just like this. Just gonna open this up a little bit more so that it's not like really cramped in here. The, the reason I don't want this place to be too cramped is that I want to be able to temp pad back right here. And when you're temping back, uh, there's not always a very precise location. So right here, I'm going to say run program, new location, and I'm gonna call that oil extraction. Okay, then I'm going to immediately press M to go into the map, right click, and I'm going to say cl claim selected and force load selected so that this is always chunk loaded. And I'm going to put the pump right here so that we can see it. So gas lift with, of course, it tells you you need, it, it would tell me that uh, no drill pipes. That's how I learned that I needed to put drill pipe. And then I can go like this and like this. And of course I didn't bring any fuel. So now I'm gonna run program and go back home. It's just a little annoyance, but it's really easy to fix. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this and I'm gonna come back here and grab a couple of these. I just wanna check the status. Oh, that's a 2.7. Well, that's good. So let's just go back again, run program, oil extraction, teleport, and let's go back here. And we're going to start that machine. Don't want to put too much because I don't want this to explode. But the beauty is the reason I did this, we'll see the block getting destroyed by the drill pipe. That's why once it gets enough pressure, we'll just see it. Oh, we're almost there. It's going to go down and drill away and use one of the pipe. You can hear, oh, it's drilled and it's getting oil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a small fluid tank. I'm gonna wait for this to get to 16 and then I'm gonna right click with the tank, which is so useful. This is one thing that's annoying though. Pneumatic craft doesn't have any liquid pipe. It's like, what? Why not? Like, there's no liquid piping in this uh, mod pack that I could find yet. But I said yet. I'm still going to be looking, just not during the uh, the episodes. For now, I'm just going to be able to use. Uh, I'm gonna use liquid um, liquid hoppers, if you can believe that. So let's just go back home. So we have 16 bucket of black gold. So now we need the refinery, which I have right here. We need a refinery controller. So we need some more reinforced stone slab, refinery controller, and we needed the redstone. So that's where all the search for the redstone came from. Um, so let's grab one of those, perfect. And the way this works, if I put a refinery controller down, it's going to process the liquid into one, two, three, or four liquid. But for that, we need to, to put some refinery something on top of it. Those, uh, I don't remember the name and I didn't even flag it. So refinery, oh, refinery. We need uh, these block, refinery output. 
So I'm going to make a couple of those. So we're going to need 6, 12, 18, 24. Let's make, and we're going, oh yeah, this one doesn't, the cosmic ingot, unfortunately, doesn't shift click into things. So you need to put them manually and complete them this way. It's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit annoying. So now we're going to go and, oh, before we go, we're going to make one of those uh, fluid opera that I was talking about. So let's just get started with that. Um, wood. And then chest and then hopper and then if you use a hopper with a fluid tank you get a liquid hopper from pneumatic craft so now i'm going to come back here and i'm going to go and put a refinery where's my refinery oh i placed it down and never got it back of course i didn't so i'm going to get the refinery and i'm going to come and this is the center i'm going to put it right here for now then I'm going to put the refinery output on top, like it's supposed to. And then I'm gonna put a liquid, nope, wrongly placed. I'm gonna put a liquid hopper like so. And I'm gonna put the uh, crude oil right here and it gets pumped into the refinery controller, which needs temperature. So for the temperature, we're going to use a, um, we're going to use lava and instead of, going and getting lava because it's going to eat up the lava really quick we i have a trick um that i'm going to show you just give me one moment and i want to be able to heat a lot of things and i don't want to have to replace the lava all the time so this is a very important trick what i'm going to do right here is make a cross pattern like so and then i'm going to put a block of obsidian which is not lava but if you look at in-world transformation, um, in-world transformation, lava from obsidian and vice versa. So if I just hit it like this, lava is going to flow. And this is now heating up. And look at the heat. It's heating up really fast. And now it's starting to make diesel in this one, kerosene in this one, gasoline in this one, and LPG in that one. Now the problem is that this lava is going to lose its heat. And as it loses its heat, it's going to become obsidian again. So I'm just gonna to need to continuously use the Philosopher's Stone on this. Or, 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 um, I can't be here babysitting this all the time. So one trick that we're going to do is we're going to make our first click machine. So for the click machine, and this is something that I saw uh, in a video that I was looking at because uh, I didn't know about that trick, to be honest, that you could use the click machine. So I'm going to go with 14. I'm going to make two click machine. The reason I'm going to make two is that I'm going to want one later on. So let's just go click machine like this. Oh, it's, it's more than one. It's actually a lot more than ones. So I'm going to go right here, make two redstone block. Okay, and then like this and like this and like this and voila two click machine I'm gonna put one here for now we're gonna use that later and as you can see this transformed into back into obsidian so now i'm going to put the click machine right here and if i put the click machine uh, the philosopher's stone in and i make the click faster with magic see the machine is actually transforming the obsidian into lava back the thing is, you can see like this has a reach of about five and that's why I put a reinforced stone because I, just for you to see, if I put a dirt here, it goes and you've got this annoying noise the whole time or you just break it and having a block that doesn't transform behind is just like that. So first, that's the first thing. Second thing, uh, Lava and I are not good friends. We, I often like just screw up and fall into lava. So I'm going to make some trap doors right now. And even though trap doors are made out of wood, they don't burn. So then I can just do this and I'll be able to walk over it. And you'll say, well, there's some here, here and here, but that's not gonna last long. So I just wanted to start this quickly so that it will build up. Oh, and by the way, look, our glowstone, our uh, fiber something mesh, became glowstone and please give me four. Oh yes got four glowstone dust so the reason four is good is i can make the block back again 
and I can throw it in here and now we have glowstone forever. Okay, so this setup is no longer required, but I'll clean it up. And this, look, it's at minus 62, so it's all ready. So now if I come here, we did the makeshift gas pump, we made the refinery, and now we've got black gold, but we need to claim the quest. So let me just grab a bucket quickly and go. And I, I clicked so fast that I took it and put it back. But okay, quest is done. Next step is, wait. No, okay, I, I did it too fast and it didn't recognize. So that's done. Now we need a bucket of liquefied petroleum gas. That's a long name, the Thermopneumatic Processing Plant or TPP for short. Now we're going to make three TPP just because I have a plan. I'm gonna show you in a moment. So let's start with the three TPP, which are right here. So three, I need reinforced stone slab. I'm gonna need six, 12, 18, and see, that's why I need so many fluid tank. It's kind of crazy. So six, 12, 18, perfect. And now click the TPP in and voila. So I'm going to put a TPP right here. Uh, I'm going to need some kind of block. I'm gonna put one right here and one right here. So now all of these TPP are all sharing the heat from lava with one lava block and it's really important to do it that way because I only have one philosopher's stone and I don't want to be right clicking or replacing the lava all the time. One other th trick that I saw in a video, if you right click you're passing time but if you shift right click you actually sleep normally and it's important because we haven't slept in a couple of nights and phantoms were about to become a problem. So now every mobs are gone and we've slept and we're all good to continue. So this is giving petroleum gas. Now, why did I do that? That's really important. Uh, why do I have three thermal pneumatic processing plant? Well, I want, uh, I want some LPG. Oh, we already have a bucket. Darn it. Well, grab the bucket. I thought, so here's what I was going to do. I was going to show you if Let's put the bucket in here. If I grab a bucket of kerosene and I put it in here and I come over here and look at the recipe, well, kerosene will transform 100 to 80 into gasoline. And guess what? Gasoline will transform 100 to 80 into LPG. So this uh, thermo TPP right here is gonna be my transformer. That's the one I'm going to put the kerosene into and then the gasoline, I'm gonna use the same one for both but these all need pressure. So now I'm gonna come over here and set up some pressure tubes and let's just put two for now. And that's slowly going to be going up. And once it reaches um, two of pressure, it's gonna start transforming stuff. So right now, just said kerosene can become gasoline and gasoline can become um, LPG. So what I'm going to do what I like to do is because we're going to get a quantity 100 to 80, you can't really use, um, you can't really use words. You can't really use buckets to transfer. So the, the easy thing is to make another liquid hopper. And I always have this transformation one. I always have this transformation one use hopping into another fluid tank like so. So once it start transforming, it's going to take the gasoline and put it here. Um, let's put another one right here. Perfect. So if I come back here, we did get the liquefied petroleum gas. Now we need molten polymer. Careful, when placing molten plastic in world, it crashed your game. Uh -oh. Instead, use a heat frame on a chest. So it wants us to have a bucket of plastic. This one needs heat and it also needs coal. Now to get coal, you just need to come over here, get some carbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to quickly swipe back our philosopher's stone. And then we can just go like this and transform all of this carbon into a stack of coal. We're going to need to put that back or else we're not gonna have any lava. And then I can put the coal here and we're transforming LPG. So. 100 millibucket gives you a bucket, really great. 
then I can grab that with a bucket and we're going to put it in here and voila, we got two. <clears throat> so the reason we got two, the colder this is, you have a chance of getting a second one. So in an ideal world, in the best of world, go here and would put one at a time like this so that you just get as much plastic as possible. So that's why, see, I'm already down to one. If I do it again, I'm pretty sure I'm only going to get one. So now it's only one. So technically, if I waited very long for this to be at the ultimate temperature my, below minus 40, I would be doubling my plastic. <clears throat> but while you're doing a lot of things around the base, this is not a good idea. Like it, it's really not helpful having to wait and do them one at a time. If I take a small fluid tank, which now contains six millibucket, and I put the small fluid tank in here, see, one, two, three, four. So it's not as efficient, but at least I'm getting more plastic faster. And now it's equal, uh, it reach equilibrium, which means it's going to, as it goes, see the cooling is 12%, 18%, because every percentage eats one degree, 2% for one degree. So I go to minus one, go to 36. Go, oh, sometime it's more, which is kind of bizarre, but it's approximately what happens. Perfect, so like I was saying, Every time uh, that we need to process, okay, so if I look at this, it's finished processing. I want more LPG. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab that fluid back and put it in. And I'm even going to check if I can grab a bucket. So the reason I'm using bucket when extracting from here is that it's giving me perfect round numbers. Uh, whereas if I use the tank, I would have grabbed the 240 and the 240 doesn't transform. So now this is transforming the gasoline into LPG that's coming right here. And see, I have another bucket right here so I can put that back. So that's 10 plastic, by the way. One bucket equal 10, spl 10 plastic. So that's 20 more plastic. Great. So what's the next step? We've got plastic. Now that gives us our PCB. Do not lose it. We only get one. You absolutely need this PCB. So the next step, urgently that we need to do is artificial sun rays, craft a UV light box. We need the compressed iron, the PCB blueprint, a pressure tube, and these redstone lamps. And these redstone lamp, that's why we needed the redstone and the glowstone. So now I'm gonna grab three glowstone, gonna come back here, transform these three into redstone lamps. And then we can make this UV light box. <clears throat> Sorry, my troth is weird that we're going, that it needs pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here for now, and we're going to need more pressure. So start off more pressure. And now it's ready. It needs to receive a PCB. Ooh, that might, okay, I'm gonna have to rush. Not really a circuit, empty PCB. So to make a PCB, you need one plastic with three gold nugget with two redstone torch. For now, I just want to be able to show the whole process. So I'm only going to do one. So let me get a gold ingot. Let me grab some stick. So stick with this is going to give me four. You know what? I'm going to make two craft. So four and two and six. Perfect. So we're going to go back here, put all of that in the pressure chamber and we're going to have to relight it because it's probably going to go too low right now so let's just go and put one here oh no, not more than that because we already have high enough pressure so it's going to input the last thing i just need to keep an eye on the pressure right here oh this is going way too high can i put a Let's just continue, you know what? Kerosene and kerosene. Let's just grab all of the LPG and put it in here. All of the plastic and replace this right here. Perfect. Okay, just need to make sure that this doesn't blow up. If this goes above five, we're gonna have a big explosion on our hand. And we got six empty PCB. So now if we put a PCB in here, you see that it's working and it needs to have pressure above one, and this will continually be eating our pressure. 
So we're kind of okay now because this is going to stop. Once it goes below two, we'll put another blaze rod. Until we have a way of controlling this, that's the only way we can do it. And you see that it's it's just bizarre because you can't really read it. You know what? Just give me a second. I can remove this by disposing them like this. This pose, and I don't need any of those. Will this fix my... Yes, perfect. So this item does not despawn. Etch, success chance, 28%. Put in UV light box to expose, that's what we do. Put in an etching tank to develop. So we're going to let this um, continue. And while this is continuing, we're going to go to the next step. So right here, we've got the PCB. We've got the artificial sun ray. We're doing a UV empty circuit, but then we're going to need an engraved an etching tank. So let's go and craft that etching tank right now. Etching tank, okay. So we're going to need reinforced brick slab, reinforced brick, okay? So I need these ones now, not the other one. And we're going to need a reinforced brick wall. So I need to do a bit more of these to be able to do this. And now we should be able to craft the, oh, I need a glass pane. Such a pain, such a pain. Yeah, dad jokes, sorry. They're always going to be a thing. So let's do this. This doesn't need pressure, well, this, this is weird. I'm going to explain it in a moment, but for now, I'm just going to put it down right here. And this is the etching tank, but it needs etching acid. Etching acid bucket is made like this. It's one bucket of water with N-C-L-O-F-E-H. N-C-L-O-F-E-H. N. N. C-L is chlor. That one is three. Oxygen is also three. Fe. Fe is iron. And I forgot the last one, of course. And H, so hydrogen. Hydrogen. And you're not going to lose the bucket. You're going to get the bucket back. So now I can go back here, grab a bucket of water, and we'll start the etching acid. So if I go back here and I can go, I'll put the single one first because they're going to go in super easy and then the triplets. And while we're waiting, let's come over here, make sure that the pressure is still good. This is now at 63%. Technically, I could take it out now and try etching it, but I would only have a 64% chance. So if I wanna be 100% sure, I need to wait for it to be completely etched. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna put another blaze rod right now because I'm afraid the air compressor is not is gonna go to be above five and explode. Uh, what's, what's the situation here? There's still some in here. Grab this, push it back right here. Perfect. Okay. So while we're waiting for this, and we're waiting for this, did the transformation occur? I think, I, no, it's missing. Oh, and it transformed and it, this is so weird. I, I'm used to seeing it like stay there for half a second and then go in. It just totally disappeared immediately. So now I'm going, see, that's what I was telling you. These nothingness block just evaporated because they got too warm. So I'm going to plug the hole, but I'm going to have to go get more everythingness block. And voila, we've got etching all ready to go. So if I come back here, we've got magical hazardous liquid, etching acid bucket. We've got the etching tank. We're just waiting now on getting this to 100%. Like I said, I'm not taking chance. So while we're still waiting for this, let's, let me show you something important. This is technically where we start getting the transmutation table. And I've shown you everything that we've done up to now, we could have done by just like transforming those into and finding iron and finding gold and everything. But we would have spent maybe two or three hours just processing and showing things on the ground and accumulating crazy amounts. So that's why there's, if there's one thing that you need to do above all is rush this transmutation table, even though it's later on in the uh, quest line. Like, I'm not quite sure, maybe the recipe is gonna be changed and that's not something that we're going to be able to do in the future. But if you can't, then it's just a grinding thing. Like you can grind it, no, no problem. It's just annoying. Okay, so we're done with all of this, but we haven't made a single PCB yet. And it's important. I want to get one done in my episode because 
that's what I'm going to be doing in my time lapse. I'm going to be making a lot of PCBs for the next step. So what I'm going to do right now is I want this machine to work faster. It's way too slow. And you can put upgrades in here. So if I come here and I search for speed, there are these things called speed upgrade. And these speed upgrade can be used in all of these things. Like that's the whole list. Technically, if you put it, if you put a speed upgrade in a liquid hopper, liquid's going to go faster. If you put a speed upgrade in a processing plant, it's going to process faster. Same thing for the refinery. If you put a speed upgrade, it's going to refine faster. Like it makes everything faster. If you put it in a hair, air, in an air compressor, it's going to burn quickly and build up pressure too fast. That's kind of scary. Here, this process is so long, we want to make it faster. So if we come here and look at the speed upgrade, there's two recipe. Obviously, this one is more interesting, but to get drop of glycerol, it, we need to get ethanol and vegetable oil, and ethanol is a two-way process. It's like, no, 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 no. We're just going to make the simple recipe, which is why we started the sugar cane. I never do things without a reason, guys. So now we need lubricant. How do we get lubricant? We get lubricant by pushing diesel with redstone into a thermopneumatic processing plant. So this one back here is going to be my lubricant plant. I'm going to put some redstone right here, and then I'm just going to bucket my diesel. So one, two, three, four, and that's all I have for now into four lubricant. And this is the most beautiful thing ever. I love when uh, mods or mod packs do this, okay? So if I come here and I'm going to need some lapis, wait, so I need either lapis or these. So oh, should I, should I, could I, would I? Just give me a second. Oh, nope. So you can always move the fluid to there. I'm happy this happened so I could show you this trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform the lapis. So I'm, I have enough to make four. So I'm going to need four lapis and I'm going to need four bucket of water, which I can get super easy. So with this liquid tank, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought I could pick up from the world. Apparently you cannot. So I'm just going to put this here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And let's go back there. And we're going to put the water in here. And we're going to put the four lapis. So this is going to give us four, eight, 12, 16. That's saving a lot of lapis. It was definitely worth it. So that's done. Next step is we need the sugar. So we're also going to need 16 sugar. So like so, sugar cane into sugar is EMCable. Okay. Do you remember what I said at the beginning of the episode? EMC is kind of balanced to not just break the game and let you do anything. But if something's EMCable, please don't waste your time. Just use the EMC. So now I can put all of this in here, balance the grid, and it's going to use the tank and grab one bucket per. So we get four craft. Now I can come back here and I'm going to put another blaze rod in here. And then I'm going to put all four upgrades in here, which is going to make this go faster. And by the way, the higher you are, the slower it is. The problem is now we're burning. I think we're burning through. Um, oh, sorry. We're burning through compressed air faster than uh, we're producing it. So right here. Look at the process, already 25%. But now that we have one, we can come in here and put the empty PCB in here. So you see that there's a temperature, okay? And right now the etching time is 150 seconds. You can see here, 6%, 7%. I could make this faster, but when you put temperature on there, you burn the etching acid. So if you don't wanna be constantly producing etching acid, you have to wait the long time around, but look at this. You can put one, two, three, four, five. You can put 25 in here. So if my I had 25 empty PCB and they were all ready, this I could put and just wait 150 seconds and you'll never need to make etching acid again. So the way I see it, there's really no point to do this any other way. And now we're going to get a second one quickly, but as you can see, this is why 
we're going to need to do that in a time lapse. So in my time lapse, I'm going to be producing a lot more of those. So this is going to give us an unassembled PCB, okay? And there's two ways of making unassembled PCB, through the etching tank, which is a long process, or through an assembly controller with these machine. This is where this is going to bring us because then an unassembled PCB can be put together with transistor and capacitor to make finished PCB and finished PCB are used in a lot of these machines. So basically, I think we're going to need 12 PCBs if I remember correctly. So I'm going to have to make more during my time lapse. But before we get to that, we're going to need some transistor. Nope, transistor and capacitor. So we're going to need some of each of those. So the transistor is plastic, redstone, and gold, and the capacitor is plastic, slime ball, and gold. So how do you get the slime ball? Well, first off, it's EMCable, and if you click on it, it's basically a milk bucket with four green dye. So we have to come here and grab four mystical green petal that we transform into green dye, and that's one of the reasons I went and got my animals. Because now that I have animal, I can just come here and grab... Whoa! Sorry, skeleton. No can do. Don't have time for you. So I'm just going to come back over here and go milk and the four green dye. Is this... Yeah, this still has enough. So it's then going to put the four green dye. Come on. Input the four green dye. This is so slow. There's the, the acceleration can make this faster, by the way. And now it's already done and it's going to extract the bucket and give it back to me. But I can put the slime balls in here and now I have slime balls forever. So next step is going to be making, is this the one? So the slime ball is two gold. So two gold, one slime ball, one plastic. So I want to make one of each because I want to show you what I'm going to be doing in my time lapse. I'm going to be making those 12 PCBs uh, and that's going to take a while. So I want to start it quickly. One, two, three. And what was the other thing? It needs redstone. So one redstone. Perfect. So this we're going to need to re-give some pressure. And voila, we've got the, the blue one. Right here, we've got the capacitor. Oh, Duma. I am such a Duma. The reason I'm such a Duma is that I'm going to need two to make that one PCB. So now I'm just kind of slowed myself down for no reason. I'm also going to need one, two, three, and one, and one. So I might as well just do this. I'm going to need more pressure for sure. And then I can go do the next one. So now I've got one transistor. Now I'm going to wait to make the one capacitor. <sighs> Come on. While we're waiting. Oh, and we're about to run out of oil. So before we run out of oil, run program, oil extraction, teleport. Let's just go and quickly grab some oil. So it's still grabbing because there's still pressure, but I don't want the pressure to go too high. So until I've got a safety valve, which I'm going to be making at some point, until I've got a safety valve, I don't want to take any risk with the pressure. So that's going to be 32. So next time I come here, I need to bring some more uh, uh, blaze rod. So let's go back home. And I've got my 32 bucket just in time to continue because this was almost done. And voila, so this is going to be continuing. I want this to be running uh, all the time. So this is done. Let's put the next one. Uh, now we need another blaze rod. So let's grab some more. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of tired of just going from one to the other. Nope. So I'm going to put one blaze rod in here. And it's going slow. So I might end up putting one of the speed upgrade in here. But I'm going to be making more speed upgrades. See, I can already make two more speed upgrade. And if I come here, this has now been transformed into this. So I can now make the last one. So that's going to be two of each. And if I come, yes, we've got an unassembled PCB. 
Let's show the next one in. And with the unassembled PCB, we're just waiting for one, the last transistor. And with the last transistor, we're going to be good. By the way, uh, I'm probably going to put some speed upgrade on the doors because the doors, they lose pressure and they take a long time to work. But if you put speed upgrade, they take less pressure and they operate faster. So now that we have all of this, we can go right here and get an assembled PCB. And now the fun starts. Next step is to do all of these machine. I'm going to prepare all the material for these machine in the next episode. So if I remember, if I remember, I'm going to try and put, I'm going to go right here and hopefully I remember. And right here is the list of all the material that we're going to need for the next episode to make these five machine. Perfect. So please, please, please let me remember. So what's my recording time right now? Let's just check quickly on the good old timer. Uh, we've got a little bit of time left, so let's do one last thing because I always love the one last thing. So let's grab 10 gold, let's grab nine copper, and let's grab nine iron. Okay, and let's go back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw the 10 gold in here, which are going to become 10 mana steel, which was a quest right here. And then it wants us to make terra steel. Terra steel in this mod pack is made with one copper, one iron, and one mana steel over a terrestrial agglomeration plate. For this, we need the block of lapis lazuli. So let's just come over here. I just want to make sure that I'm producing mana. And let's come back over here. And this is going to be the block of terra steel that we need. Then we're going to need the block of lapis lazuli. So let's go right here and do this. So we're going to need seven. Uh, we need seven. I'm going to explain just in a moment. We need seven because the way the, the setup for the agglomeration plate works is that you need, um, you know what, let me just finish this and I'm just going to show you. It's going to be easier. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Come back here. So now I can make the terrestrial agglomeration plate. And if you look at the terrestrial agglomeration plate, um, okay, I can't get the recipe like this. What if I look at the terra steel? Oh, it's, it doesn't show you. Okay, but in the book, in the book, it would show you. So for that, you need to uh, make a setup. So the way it works, it's a three by three. Shovel is dead. Okay. So the way this works is we're going to have four blocks of lapis lazuli like this. Then we're going to have five block of living rock like this. And by the way, the book, no, 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 no. Sorry, guys. Oh, you crappy. I forgot to change the mode. Well, that was a derp, and I'm not fixing it completely because I don't want to waste the time. So, sorry. Um, why do I not remember this properly? So, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, and the agglomeration plate here. This doesn't explain, though, how to operate it. We're going to need a lot of mana. And the fastest way of transferring the mana is with sparks. Okay, so we're going to make two sparks. We're going to need four blaze powder, four petal, and two gold nugget. And we have the two gold nuggets. So four and blaze powder is that simple. So let's just make four. So f four, four, two. That's going to give us two spark. And now we can go. You need to put a spark on the mana pool and a spark on the agglomeration plate, and then you can show one. It needs to land on it though. One, 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 and voila, magic. And we've got our Terra Steel ingot, which is another quest completed. So right now we kind of, well, if I look at the time, yeah, one last, 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 last thing. Let's make some pretty pipes. Uh, I'm probably going to want to use the pretty pipe 
to put the empty PCBs in the UV machine. Uh, I don't know if I can get a filter though. So let's come right here. We know we're going to need some iron bars. We're going to need some, we have glass, we need redstone. We need, what's the other thing that we need? We need copper, so we have copper. I don't know why I grabbed nine copper and nine iron. I didn't need that nine copper and iron. So we're going to make, you know, let's make 32 pretty pipes. Perfect. Then we need upgrade for days. We need some blank module. So I'm going to make three blank module because of the stone slab. So if I come here and I grab three stone, one, two, three, it's going to give me six stone slab. And now I can go right click and do this and get three blank modules. Now we want to make the limit the number of item. I don't know why they consider that one to be important, but that's one of the one that they want. So it needs a dropper. So I'm going to need seven of you. And it's going to be seven with a redstone dust. And then it's three redstone dust, one dropper and one blank module right here. Well, that's not really the important one. The important one is that one extracting low extraction module which is a piston, uh, I'm gonna need four wood. So let's just right click. Can I just find the piston recipe quickly? I don't wanna have to, on what page are you buddy? Right here. So let's make the piston. And then it's going to be piston, module, three redstone, and voila, we've got the low extraction. And that's it, that's this quest line. So right now, this is the next step that I've already shown you the material. I'm now going to go in a time lapse and I'm going to prepare all the material for this so that starting next episode, we'll just go boom, craft all of this and set it up and move to the next step. Um, these module, let me just check quickly. So this is the tag filter. Cause any filter slots to filter by tags. Tag can be chosen from item and filter slot. So I think that's the one that we want for the damage. Right, round robin, disabling the pipe. Cause extracted item to choose destination randomly. Oh no, data filter. Cause any filter slot to filter by item data and BT. So that's the one that we want, I believe. Mod, no. Low speed, no. Low retrieval, yeah. Retrieval is not gonna happen soon because it needs ender pearl. Low priority, high priority, low filter, restrict flow from pipe into it. Just filter amount vary by tier. No, this low crafting module. Add additional filter slot, damage filter, cause any filter slot to filter by item damage. Ooh, okay, so I don't know, I think this is item damage. So the one that I want, I believe is the item damage one. I think so. Can I do this quickly? I just need an iron pickaxe. Uh, I'm just stretching over my time now. I went from, oh, this episode is more than fine to now this episode is being too long but that's a standard etc episode. So let's just finish this quickly. So if I do this and then I'm going to need a chest, of course, and go, oh, give, oh, give me a chest. I just want to see if that's going to work because if it does work, it would be amazing. Okay, so let's just put it in a stupid place for now. Let's just put it here, okay? Then I'm going to need pipe and pipe. And right here, I'm going to put an extraction module with a damage module. And then I'm going to say, oh, wait a moment, wrong place. Um, wait, do these things? Did it get destroyed? Oh no, I, I got it back. So I don't know where it went, but it went somewhere else. So like this. Then we can hit this with a extraction and a damage filter. And if I come back here and I go like this and I say, only grab these. And now I put this one in. <gasps> it's not grabbing it. Oh boy, we might have a solution which means I need another extraction. I need another blank module and I need another extraction. So blank module like this stone slab, 
one, two, three. Let's just do this and this. And what is the, I'm gonna need another piston. Yes. So one, grab this blank module. Piston, voila. I'm gonna make more of those in my time lapse. The real, the only reason I want to do this right now is I want to check. Let's grab this and this and go like this. Put this right here. Put some pipes. Extraction. Like this. And put these in here. And once this one is done, oh my God, we're, no, no, no. Okay, so here's a trick. If, if this happens to you, just put an accelerator, at least one in there, so that it's producing, see, now it's producing um, the uh, compression, well, not the compression, the, the compressed air. It's producing it faster than it's using it. So we're at 89. So hopefully, I don't know if this is going to work because technically I would have expected want to be extracted already let's just do this and click and do i need to tell it like do this so this technically should be are disallowed are allowed okay so technically it should work we're just waiting for this to these not these spawn finish come on come on the second this is finished all the episode will also be finished 97 percent Oh, and by the way, like I said, in my time lapse, I'm going to make a lot of acceleration stuff. I'm going to be produce, processing a lot more oil. I'm going to make more lubricant into the speed upgrade. I'm just going to be making a shit ton of things. So this got put there. Another one got put in, and this one is allow. And it extracted it. Yes! We've got a fully automated, complete system. So what I'm probably going to do, though, is change those for draw, uh, for chest. And voila, an assemble PCB. We are automated and out of coldness. So I'm gonna have to go to the void to fix the coldness issue. But oh man, oh man, this was a very efficient episode and we got a lot done. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.